Over the years, customers and vendors come and go. That means your customer list and, and vendor list can get cluttered up with obsolete records. For example, here, when we look at the customers on the invoicing window, we see several inactive customers. Now, in most cases, you can't delete those because you've already got transactions in the system that are linked to them. But we can hide them so that we can clean up these lists and make our data entry a little bit easier. If you go to the Options menu and choose Global, here in the Accounting tab, you'll see there's a checkbox for Hide Inactive Records. Now that will affect everything, including customers, vendors, inventory items, employees, uh, general ledger accounts, and jobs, phases, and cost studies. So we click OK, and let's go back to our invoicing. And now you can see that those inactive records are gone. If you need to work with one again, you've got a few options. Of course, you can go back into the Options menu and turn off the Hide Inactive Records. Or, um, if you remember the ID, you can just type it in there and the system will bring up uh, the record even though it wasn't showing in the drop down list. And you could still look at them on reports too because if they, um, because reports still include inactive records even though, or I mean, unless you specifically filter them out. So now the next question is what qualifies as an inactive record? Go into Maintain Customers, and it works the same way with the other types of records. You'll see that there's an inactive checkbox. Um, so the only things that are inactive items are ones where you have specifically checked that box. So here if we bring up Dash again, you can see the inactive box has been checked on that. So it has nothing to do with when their last activity was. Um, just because they haven't had any re any activity for a long time doesn't mean they will automatically become inactive. However, if you don't like the idea of going through and manually checking that box on each individual inactive item, uh, for customers and vendors at least, there is another way. Um, from the Maintain menu, you can choose Make Records Inactive, or here from, from the System tab, in the Data Maintenance section, you can choose Make Records Inactive. They both take you to the same place. At the top of this window, you can choose between customers or vendors, and then you can choose a, a cutoff date, the last activity dated before. Then you hit the Find Records button, and it will find all of the customers or vendors, um, in this case customers, that don't have any activity after that date. And you can choose all, or you can choose none, or you can go through and individually check and uncheck which ones you want to make inactive. When you're done, just click the Make Inactive button. And then the system will go through and take care of check marking that box so that you don't have to go through and check each one individually. Now the result will be the same as if you'd gone into the Maintain menu and checked that box yourself. Now one other important thing to be aware of is that if the customer or vendor has a balance or the inventory item has, um, has a quantity on hand, Making it inactive will not get rid of the balance uh, that's associated with it. You will still have to go in and deal with that balance yourself, whether it's uh, doing a credit memo or an inventory adjustment or whatever is appropriate for that situation. Um, making it inactive does not make it go away. So that's really it for uh, inactive records and hiding them. Hope that uh, makes your data entry a little bit easier.